What is popping on your boy Nindo X Soul of a video on JP Dokkan Battle? Majin Vegeta is yay! <laughs> is he underwhelming or is he good? Let's find out. I got my buddy boy Tard here in Discord. You wanna say a little hello, Tard? Say something. Say something. Talk. Vegeta got shafted, as always. Alright, let's do this. Let's drop this intro. Three, two, one, bang! <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back, and now we have Extreme Majin Vegeta. He's yay. <laughs> <sighs> so, Super Attack raises attack for one turn and causes Mecha Lost to the damage with medium super. chance of stuff. Huh? It doesn't even raise defense on Super. Yeah, it's really bad. Ultra Super Attack, raise the attack for one turn, cause colossal damage to all enemies with medium chance of stunning them. Alright, so Tardy, if you want to read this passive here, it's massive. <laughs> you wanna... I, I actually, did he, um, before I read that, did he, could he stun his 12 key before you see it? Could he stun his 12 key before you see it? Good that question, I believe he could. Rare, but it was yeah, rare, okay, 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 super okay, rare, okay. with none happening, so. Alright, defense plus 150 per percent attack plus 180 percent of performing a super attack p plus two reduces damage received by 20 percent whether it's an ally whose name includes moa because <laughs> there's all of those on the same category as him that are good as jrpg i'm looking at you on the team q plus two plus an additional attack and defense 20 percent when there is an ally whose name includes trump's kid on the team, P plus two and chance of performing a critical hit plus five percent when the name of an ally who's back in the same turn or an enemy includes Goku, excluding all the youth, Captain and Junior, of course. Plus key plus twelve and performs a critical hit when HP is thirty percent or less once only. You know what bothers me? A lot of things bother me, but go ahead. That took you a long time to fucking read. So there's all these brackets and like, you know da 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 dots. It's, it's Machi Vegeta, he's an OGLR, <laughs> they should've just made him busted, it got straight to the point. Um, you're a Vegeta fan, so tell me what bothers you, I'm curious. Okay, so here's something that really bothers me. So, I do like it when Dokkan sometimes try to make units, like, as detailed to the anime as possible. Like, when you look at physical LR, um, Vegeta with Super Saiyan Goku in the back, his active skill gives him, um, I forgot it does, but it's related to the episode and him saying Goku's number one and all that with, like, how much key he gets. Like, that's cool. That's fine. That's not going to hurt the card. This physically hurts the card. Because not only do you need a Bulma, who there's not any good Bulmas in the game that are in the same category as him, besides the SDR one up with Vegeta, so he's going to need the EZA for that to be good. Also, the AGL one free to play. Kid Trunks is also a good choice, but here's the deal. The only good one, besides maybe the tech one, is the EZA one. And at that point, you're going to need a go ten alongside him for him to be, to be hitting as good as he normally does. And the fact that they're all on Prodigy Warriors, which is one category, they're all going to be on that one category. It's he's just very limited. The the only good part of his passive really is the Goku part, and even then, that's like extremely limited to how many categories he has. Which with, with a Goku that can actually be run alongside him. Exactly because you know any Goku's going to need like I mean Super Saiyan God Goku. Now the reason why I said this to you and why I really thought it was going to be like this doesn't make any sense, but why I thought maybe it could be like Battle of Gods related is because a Trunks kid we don't have like you said we don't have this fucker like he's there's only one of this guy like that could probably go with him and you know and, and Trunks and the physical he's yeah yeah but you you gonna want to keep them next to Goten so it's like Daddy I'm not I'm not supposed to be here right mm -hmm. now what the hell you want from me so it's like uh that's that's awful that's just awful Bulma. This it's too, it's too detailed, that's my issue. Yeah, Bulma, like, what were you thinking? Like, what were you thinking? <laughs> now I'm gonna ask you a question, and you All can right. be honest with me. If they took the Trunks kid out of this, the Bulma out of this, and let's say they kept the Goku part. Goku part, okay. And they left him with that same passive, unrequired for this unit. Do you think he would be busted? I don't think he'd be top five, because damage reduction, with all that key, attack and defense, he, with, how, with how hard he hits, he doesn't need any, like, specific units to do so. I would think he'd be the top 10 or top 5 at the very, like, least. But he wouldn't be insane to where he, like, takes, like, top, you know, top spot. Yeah, like, no, no, I'm not saying he'd be, like, top 3. I'm saying at the least he'd be top 10. Okay. That's my opinion. I easily agree. And I easily think that's all they had to do. And it wouldn't <laughs> be too much. Category, like, 
Like, this is really awkward. I'm sorry, you said something about the category? Uh, no, no, I was just saying, um, like, it's not even, like, his passive is only the real problem with him. Like, everything else is fine. He hits fine. He defends decently. Or not decently. 200k is pretty good at Rainbow Star. Um, but it's just his passive. He has a good amount of categories. He has a fine link set. Like, they dropped the ball off his passive, but that's just it. Like, uh, since pointing on 12 keys, insane, and then... Yeah. I mean, they're good numbers, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming... Okay. And guys, make sure you check out this um YouTuber because it's where we got the tweet some tar. Thanks for giving this to me. Yeah. Why is he restricted? Why is he restricted? I mean, you have this fucker Broly who just does whatever he wants, and you know he is restricted by the enemy, pure Saiyans and hyper Saiyans, but that's like ninety percent of the game. Like, so... Honestly, there's a huge difference between that and Vegeta. This is enemy, and half the game is that. Doesn't make any sense. And even when you look at LR Gohan, like, okay, let's take out Broly because obviously he's better than Vegeta. I don't think we have to talk about that. And let's yeah. pick Gohan next to him. I would say, I want to say Vegeta's better than Gohan. That's honestly how I feel. But I, not like, not insanely better where he completely outclasses him, but like, I'd say he's a better unit. Okay, I respect that. I do feel like if Gohan did get like um defense key spears, then maybe if you got a damage, I would say if you got a damage buff, he'd be better because he's probably gonna be defending better than Vegeta getting defense on super and his defensive passive. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Mm. I'm just really yeah. underwhelmed. I'm just really underwhelmed. <laughs> Bulma, like, uh, <laughs> they they're gonna have to make a new kid Trunks and Bulma, even if they do. Like, unless they make like a new Bulma support unit, because um, they're, that's the thing though. They very well could. I, I said this to my friends earlier that either they need to make a GT ball on mind control, a ball from the Bio of Gods movie, or a ball that just dodges every unit in the game and supports. Like, there's no other way. I mean, with the Goku's you can put next to him, it's, it's like, you know, using Super Saiyan too easy a Goku, and he's not bad for sure, without a doubt, but he's not like one of those must brings to the team. You'd want a Goku that, like, has to be next to him. Only other Goku I can think of, maybe, that's an LR, is like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but this fucker needs an EZA himself, so I mean... I mean, at least, they did, no, but here's the thing, at, at the very least, they didn't restrict it to a Boo Saga Goku. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Luckily, they did it. They must have not thought of it. And key plus 12 and performs a critical hit when HP is 30% yeah. or less. That's not good, in my opinion. Okay. Like you asked earlier, with um, if go if they were born trunks, like that would be fine too, because there are good amount of Goku's who would link fine with him just for that, like final part of his passive. But yeah, like and the final part of his passive is basically just a crit chance and a key plus two. I uh, mean, that's not terrible though. That's built-in crits. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's not terrible. It's just you know. It's Vegeta, Majin Vegeta. I expect him to be like, you know, boom, just straight up past it. My top three favorite Vegetas. Dude. You might be my top three favorite Vegetas too, now that I think about it. Just looking at all the Gokus, like, there's not many Gokus you're going to put next to this guy either, unless you force uh, it. Uh, unrelated topic, my top three favorite Vegetas. My favorite one is probably the Angel Vegeta that's given the call. You are number one at the end of the Boo Saga. Yeah, I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. I mean,. Would you say he's better than the Angel Vegeta? Now speaking about him, because that's a good point that I should have brought up. No, I would definitely. He's, he's, he's I'd say I'd say that. Nah, it's kind of it's kind of hard to say. I'd have to see how much Vegeta does at fifty five percent before I give a final answer. Because Rainbow Star, I feel like Vegeta might be better. Yeah, he true. Is better. He can't like just as hard. The difference is that they both neither that like the uh, Angel Vegeta gets defense on his twelve key at the very least. He's not restricted. Okay, so when his ally on the team, that the trunks kid on the team, that the attack at twenty percent, that the that the. So this team that you showed me does not have a kid trunks, and he's still doing. That's still that's still good numbers. That's still good numbers. Well, 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 well we don't know this kid trunks on the team. We can't see the full team. We only see the first three units. Well, true, true, true. I would have to see more for him to like you know actually break it down and stuff like that. I I'm just a little I'm a little underwhelmed. Like, I was literally gonna no, title this video, like, Breaking Bad, most busted LR in the game, Vegeta. <laughs> but at least, 
At least it gave him defense. So, <laughs> at least it gave him defense. I've been dogging him for the like the entire time, but at least he yeah. can tank. Man's really got a whole passive for his like easy A. It's just that unless you have like that bomb on the team, he's. I don't think he's surviving in long events. Yeah. Um. You know, at the very least, if there's any red light to look at for from any of this, is that uh, we now have a better chance of getting a new LR Masha Vegeta. Okay. I'm hoping, okay. <laughs> we, we need a we need a proper final explosion. Yeah, true. And then then we update the final explosion. I'm underwhelmed. I'm underwhelmed. I'm underwhelmed. Yeah. Anyway. That being said, I love the final impact. I'm um, super about. Oh yeah, the final impact's clean. I'm really glad they updated that. That's clean. That's sexy stuff. Yeah, it's, especially because yeah. back then, a little, little um, side thing here. Back then, before the ZZA, when that dropped, everybody wasn't a fan of it because they just wanted to see the final explosion reanimated. I was fine with it because one, we didn't have a good animation final impact, nor did we do final explosion except we do now because of six year different saga, but whatever. But um yeah, back then for Bunch Vegeta, that was his prime goal. You never wanted to get the AZ key, you always wanted to get the twelfth key, because that's where he popped off the most. Yeah. So it was a good choice by that when you really think about his usage. Especially now that he's easy aid. True. True. Anyway, that's all I got on this guy. That's all. It's 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 like he's not bad. It's just I don't even have him too, so it just hurts more. You don't have him? No. I mean, I'm missing out, kid. I'm not gonna lie to you. But so I mean, yeah, you guys. it just like it just be nice to have because, like I said, top three favorite Vegetas. It just be nice to have. You know. I'm just trying to think of situations like, like, like imagine you drop a new Vegito and then like a few years from now he's like dog water, but you're still gonna want him just to have him. I right, listen, that's right? let's up okay, yeah. Alright, true. True, true. Exactly. But the Rainbow Stones are coming and um for you guys watching, don't forget the worldwide celebration is coming. So um this is just a build up. You're gonna be able to get thirty stones off this guy, et cetera, et cetera, quote unquote, et cetera, et cetera, quote unquote. Oh, let, me throw this, let me throw this out there by the way, to everyone. Unless if they for some reason change Puppy Gals easy and they don't get stones, both the easy A's are dropping on the same night, so you should be able to get a multi of sixty stones. Sixty stones, sixty stones, sixty stones, and I'd probably save that unless he really wants Super Vegeta. I mean, I, I mean, he does Vegeta, mean. So... I thought him and Super I mean... Vegeta were gonna. I think. I... What? Nothing. 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 What'd you say? Nothing. Okay. Well, sorry. nothing doesn't mean nothing. Even when I look, even when I think about Super Vegeta, game. I'm like Super Vegeta is just better than him in all shapes and forms. That's bad. I don't. Ugh. I, I, I was actually about to tell you that it's my ever seen nothing because all I gotta do is watch the video later. And I'm just gonna find that. Price some stick, man. Anyway, um, that's pretty much us. That's pretty much it for us, guys. Like I said, this is Tard. Um, check the bio. I'm gonna put his Twitter and his your YouTube in there. What do you wanna put in there? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Just. Twitter, I guess. I'll put your OnlyFans in there too, right? Extra, extra throw in. But man, you know my OnlyFans is only filled with Vegeta images, but not the Maj Vegeta. But this is your boy Nintendo X Soul signing off. Especially not this Maj Vegeta. Much love. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Um, um, he's good. He's good. He's just underwhelming in my opinion. I wish he was better, but. We're gonna, yeah. I'm gonna drop a video in the Pepe Girl units like a little bit after, and yeah, if you like the video, I'll hit the like, huh? Oh, sorry, I thought you were done. No, no, go done. off, go off, come on. I was just gonna say, all jokes aside of what we did in this video, he, he's not bad. He's, he's good. Yeah, he's, he's not. Def he's definitely not bad. Not bad. He's just underwhelming. He, he's just not that guy. He's just not that guy. LR Broly is that guy. That guy. <laughs> LR Broly is that guy. LR Broly was, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, I mean, shit. have you seen the way LR Broly's built? It's, of course he's that guy. Yeah, of course he's that guy. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's sign off here. Much love. Have a beautiful day, guys. Adios, amigos. Bye bye. I'm gonna sleep.